Hi everyone, this video is just a, a shortened version of the live stream that I did the other night. It's a fragrance collection tag video started by Joss Jane. I will link her video below and there's 13 questions so I'm not going to ramble on. Let's just get into it. So the questions are, what is the newest fragrance in your collection? Well. This has changed since the live stream because I came home today to two parcels and one of them had Prada Candy Gloss in it all the way from Italy. It was an Italy bargain. So I sprayed that on my arm immediately. I opened it, of course, and it's really fruity. Yet it also smells to me a little bit like a an alcoholic drink like a, a almost like a raspberry liqueur it's really unusual it's nothing like i already own and so far i think i'm pretty happy with that blind buy i will be doing a haul video it's a bit breezy out here and i'm really scared all my perfumes are going to get blown off the table and it's concrete down here so yeah I'm going to be doing a whole video and you'll be seeing more of this and you'll be hearing more about this in my upcoming videos for sure. And also another package came all the way from, I think it's Netherlands actually, uh, one of my lovely subscribers got in touch and told me that on my recommendation she'd gone out and bought four bottles, a blind buy, four tester bottles of my insulates and it didn't work for her, she didn't really like them. And did I want to buy them? She'd got them at a good price. So she sold, in the end, I said, I'll only take two because I already have one bottle this size that I'm halfway through and I've got a backup 30 ml unused bottle. So I've now got two backup, further backup bottles of my insulins from Galan. They've got different text or graphics around the top. So I said, I'll take one of each to see if I can test to see if there's any difference because we're geeks aren't we us frag heads so these arrived today so they are my newest perfumes and the next tag is what is your oldest perfume so i was unclear whether that meant the one that you've had the longest or whether it just meant the actual oldest bottle in your collection so i've gone with the oldest bottle i'm pretty certain it's this one it's poison from christian dior it's a vintage i don't think it's original vintage but it's going back still it's not certainly nothing like the current formulation which is very very sweet and much less pungent shall we say this was my mum sent for a little while going back in the 80s I guess early 90s my mum wore this so it has some nostalgic connections to it mum wears more modern stuff these days but this has a uh, nice memory to it the next one is your most expensive bottle so that is galan iris ganache this is a b bottle 125 mils i had to have this sent to me from paris galan will not post themselves so a very kind person went to the paris boutique for me and then posted this to me it was around the 340 euros mark so that's my most expensive i actually split some of this out to counteract the cost so when i've got an expensive bottle i will try and sell some of that bottle just to subsidize the cost so there's not much left in there because i've also got a travel size a travel atomizer that's full of it as well so that's iris ganache and my le plus beau jour de ma vie was the same cost as well from galan which I went to Paris myself to get a couple of years ago. My most affordable fragrance is, I haven't got it here, I lent it to Dan, and it's called Indie by Katy Perry. It's a celebrity scent. It cost me eight pounds, including delivery, and it's basically Santel 33 dupe. That's, uh, it started off smelling a bit like Sarah Jessica Parker's stash, a very dense, nutty, vetiver kind of scent, 
but um, it lightened up and it went more like a Santel 33 type direction. So I think it's a really good bargain actually. My most easy to reach for perfume now is this one. It's a Mon Guerlain Eau de Parfum Intense. If I just can't figure out what to wear, I do tend to go for this one because it's so damn likeable. It's got all the vanilla in it, which I love. It's very comforting, but it's not too heavy, so it never feels like it's too sweet. If I want to wear it on a hot day, I can. It just works in any situation. It feels comforting and it makes me feel like I'm put together. It's a very effortless fragrance. So that's Mongolan Eau de Parfum Intense. My favorite bottle design now. So the favorite bottle design in my collection, it's got to be this one, Dendera by Centauri Perfumes. The perfume is Peter off of the YouTube channel Fragrance View. But look at this bottle. I love the color, the ruby color. It looks like a jewel. You've got this plaque on top, which is raised with raised words and logo. The lid itself is full of detail. Everything has a meaning. If you watch Peter's video when he launched his brand, every single thing with this bottle and all the other packaging, everything has a meaning. Let me line up that Centauri. There we are, that looks better, doesn't it? So I love that. And I love that this literally is Peter's heart and soul encapsulated in a bottle. I think that's pretty damn awesome. Now then, the biggest bottle in my collection, of course, size does matter. And this is my 200 milliliter bottle of Pomelo Paradis by Atelier Cologne. There's my hand. So it's about the size of my hand. It's not massively, massively huge. There it is against my head. <laughs> so that's a 200 ml. Pomelo Paradis is a lovely, sweetened, yet zesty and fresh grapefruit bergamot with a little bit more going on in the dry down. It's fairly simplistic. Very, very, very refreshing. Perfect summer's day fragrance. That's why I got the big bottle. Now the smallest one is this little cutie. That is a three milliliter Guerlain Samsara and it's the extract in there or extra. So it's the richer, deeper version of Samsara and the bottle is absolutely cute. This is an oriental with sandalwood. It's very rich. It comes off a little bit soapy to my nose. My mum wears the ordinary EDP and it smells absolutely amazing on her. It's maybe a little bit too mature for me. My taste a bit too soapy I think but I still think it's an absolute beautiful fragrance. So my memory, what, what fragrance has the strongest memory attached to it? And I've gone for Paris by Yves Saint Laurent. I as a child I had a miniature of this and I remember feeling so special and I would dab on the tiniest little bit onto my wrist and and feel so special and so grown up because I'm wearing a woman's perfume but actually I still love this it's a beautiful combination of rose and violet with a little bit of depth but it's also got this freshness to it so for me it works this is the eau de parfum but it's the eau de toilette that I have more memories with. I also, as a teenager and early 20s, definitely went through a couple of bottles of Paris and it did make me feel special. It's very sparkling, very lively, fresh yet super feminine and sweet fragrance. So I really love that. I still love it today. What fragrance in your collection is worth the hype? Well, I've got two. I decided to do one niche and one designer for this one. So my designer is Jean-Paul Gaultier's La Belle. It's getting very hyped up on YouTube at the moment and has been for quite some time. YouTube made me buy this. A combination of different reviews got me to buy this, uh, including Rose and Jones, Lizzie from Rose and Jones. She reviewed this. Then she sent me a decant and I fell in love. Initially, I thought it was too sweet. It's an extremely sugary sweet but it dries down quite quickly and that, that sharpness of the sweetness calms down and it's got this gorgeous kind of mellowy, caramelly, vanilla pear combination. And it's a bit spicy and I think there's quite a bit of ambroxan in here, which is just a very addictive scent. So that is La Belle, it's totally worth the hype. And of course the niche one 
is the by zoologist so i was reading all these reviews and watching videos everyone was hyping up b and then i was so lucky that victor wong from zoologist sent me this bottle and i actually unboxed it in a live unboxing on my channel i'll link that below if i can and you can see my initial reactions to the fragrance i absolutely love it it is not a safe blind buy just because loads of people really love it doesn't mean you will it's quite uh, incensey and rich a little bit mysterious and unusual it's not like anything else basically it's like to me it's like the inside of a crunchy bar so a honeycomb smell but it does change on your skin there is a bit of incense there's heliotrope in here which gives it that kind of fluffy almond like scent floral almond there's some vanilla there's some darkness too there's, there's definitely a little bit of darkness giving it an uh, anchor in the base really but definitely not a blind buy but if it sounds like you might like it you should totally test it out if you're in the market for something unusual but sweet and delicious then that might work for you now we are on to my favorite fragrance from my favorite house and i decided to do two for that as well so we've got a designer and a niche option so we go with the niche option now and that is papillon perfumery and this is called bengal rouge this fragrance does have honey in the opening to me it smells like lemon and honey but it's a really rich incensey amber fragrance that dries down to to me it smells like caramel it smells like a fluffy hot chocolate it's spicy it's got a tonka in it and the tonka itself is quite spicy it's very warming it's very cozy it's very sensual and the lasting power is 12 hours plus on me every single time i wear it it's a hug in a bottle it's so rich and lovely and i've got three others from the house so that's my favorite niche house and then my favorite non we'll call it non-niche because it's galan and galan do very much designer level perfumes as well as high-end perfumes they sell makeup and beauty products so they're not exactly niche but they're not exactly designer it's like they need their own category but anyway my favorite from that house is my insolence this has almond blossom in it it's got some raspberry it's got lots of vanilla it's very fluffy it's very musky in a very clean way i really love it that's why i've now got four bottles it's the only fragrance i've got backups of oh, i've got one other backup alien essence absolute because a very very kind person sent me a bottle so mwah, to that kind person so I've got a backup of Alien Essence Absolute, but this is the only other one I've got backups of and I've bought all of them. And I've also got through a couple. So there's a couple of empties uh, out there. Um, so that kind of answers the last question, which is my most used. So my most used fragrances, well, this is called La Belle. We've already talked about it. I, I have used all of that in a matter of I'd say about a month now so um, that's it's so addictive ridiculously addictive I keep on spraying it even if I don't wear it I end up spraying a little bit somewhere on me often I'll go to bed and do a quick spray on the wrist just so I can lay there and smell it I just find it super addictive that's why it's most used and then apart from that it is if you go longer term then it is this one it is my insolence because as I say I've emptied out I've since august last year so in less than a year i've emptied two bottles and i'm halfway through another one and i've just bought another two backups so i think we can safely say that's my most used i think i did a video on it quite a while ago actually my most worn perfume and i just bloody well love my insolence it's tough to find it and it might not be as amazing as I've described it to your nose because I didn't love it immediately it wasn't love at first sniff it was no that's okay I'm a bit disappointed it's not as exciting as I expected but on a few wearings I was head over heels with it it's just so easy to wear and it just feels like me it just suits me I feel very 
I feel pretty without being working too hard to feel pretty like maybe La Belle for example would make you feel pretty but it also feels like you're trying a little bit with my insolence it doesn't feel like I'm trying it just feels like it's kind of me but it makes me feel good if that makes any sense don't forget to like and subscribe my AdSense so if any adverts you tolerate any money generated will go to an animal sanctuary based here in Kent in the southeast of the UK so please feel free to not skip every advert but I do understand they're a bit frustrating and I understand if it pisses you off that they pop up here and there because I don't like them either but in this instance they are doing a little bit of good so that's it thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video oops I forgot to tag anyone so I'm gonna tag Lizzie off of Rose and Jones, Linda from The Frag Hag, Arlise from Curious Perfumer, Ben from Talking Sense. I think that will do. So you are all tagged.